Welcome to the Raised with Jesus podcast, 10 minutes every day with Life of Jesus Meets Yours. You've got your Sunday preview for August 4th, 2019, the 8th Sunday after Pentecost. We're still in the series where we ask, where is my line? And on this particular Sunday, the readings direct us to ask about love. Where is my line when it comes to love? Our gospel reading from Luke chapter 10, beginning in verse 25, the familiar parable of the Good Samaritan. And it focuses on the question of, instead of asking, who's my neighbor? Jesus turns it around to ask, how can I be a neighbor? And that sort of selfless love that doesn't count the cost to me is the sort of love that God demands and wants from each of us. And we understand that we are, we could never live up to that, and we could never live up to God's law completely, but we need to see it in all its strength, in all its fierceness, before, before we're finally driven to despair, to say, Lord, <laughs> Lord, forgive me. And Jesus has. This Jesus loved us even though we were not on his, his list of people that are easy to love. In fact, we were the enemies of God, and he loved us. He died and he rose in order to forgive your sin and mine. And so now he's, he's turned us around to make people who actually love one another and who are able to love one another. And that's really the discussion based on Romans chapter 12, our second reading today for our sermon. So first, our gospel reading from Luke chapter 10. God's love for us is seen in our love for others. Just then, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus, saying, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law? He asked him, What do you read there? He replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and to love your neighbor as yourself. He said this to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But the man wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. He fell among robbers who stripped him, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. It just so happened that a priest was going down the other way, but when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. In the same way, a Levite also happened to go there, but when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. A Samaritan, as he traveled, came to where the man was. When he saw him, he felt sorry for the man. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine on them. He put him on his own animal, took him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day when he left, he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him. Whatever extra you spend, I will repay you when I return. Which of these three do you think acted like a neighbor to the man who fell among robbers? The one who showed mercy to him, he replied. Then Jesus told him, Go and do likewise. And you notice the shift from verse 29 to verse 36. The man wanted to justify himself. That is, the man wanted to um, be able to do enough good works to atone for whatever sin he may have had. And the first step in doing so is to water down God's law into something that I can keep. So his question, verse 29, who is my neighbor, is turned around by Jesus in verse 36. Which of these three acted like a neighbor? Asking the right question leads us to see that God's law is very serious, and it's not something that we can live up to. But thanks be to God that he sent us his son. When we talk about good works and faith and the new life of faith, um, our reading today from the Augsburg Confession, Article 4, really talks about this and speaks to it. it reads like this, Our churches teach that this faith is, is bound to bring forth good fruit. It is necessary to do good works commanded by God because of God's will. We should not rely on these works to merit justification before God, the forgiveness of sins and justification is received through faith. The voice of Christ also testifies, So you also, when you have done all that you were commanded, say, We are unworthy servants, we have only done what was our duty. The fathers, that is the church fathers, teach the same thing. Ambrose says, It is ordained by God that he who believes in Christ is saved, freely receiving the forgiveness of sins without works, 
through faith alone. And we close with prayer. Lord Jesus, you found me as I was and made me your own. Lead me to love you above all things and to re reflect your love to others in all things. Amen. You can find us at 9 a.m. at 2250 South Holland Savannah Road in Maumee. You could also tune in at YouTube. We'll begin live streaming right around 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Just search for Resurrection Maumee. God bless your day.